friends in this video let's discuss theorem 2 of trigonometry chapter for any real numbers x and y cos x is equals to cos y implies x is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus y where n belongs to integer we need to prove that for cos x is equals to cos y x is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus y so we start by taking cos x is equals to cos y cos x is equals to cos y we can also write this as cos x minus cos y is equals to 0 by shifting this cos y on the other side of the equation so cos x minus cos y is nothing but minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 and sin x minus y by 2 is equals to 0 now this minus 2 will disappear when i'll divide this 0 by minus 2 so what will remain is sin x plus y by 2 and sin x minus y by 2 is equals to 0. So now I can equate sin x plus y by 2 is equals to 0 and sin x minus y by 2 is equals to 0 like such. And now sin x plus y by 2 is equals to 0 and sin x minus y by 2 is equals to 0 is in the form of sin theta is equals to 0, isn't it? For sin theta is equals to 0, we have a relation theta is equals to n pi. Here theta is x plus y by 2 for this sign and th here theta is x minus y by 2 for this sign. So now this theta will convert into x plus y by 2 is equals to n pi for this sign and for this sign this theta will change into x minus y by 2 is equals to n pi and the same thing I write it here. For sign x plus y by 2 I write this and for sign x minus y by 2 I write this relation. Now let's multiply this 2 to n pi here also let's multiply this 2 to n pi so what we get is x plus y is equals to 2 n pi and x minus y is equals to 2 n pi where n belongs to integers n belong to integer you have to define it okay because when we are mentioning n we need to define it also that's why we need to mention we need to define n belongs to integers next as we are interested in x is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus y, we can see here y is on the left side of the equation. So let us shift this y on the left side of the equation. That will be x is equals to 2 n pi minus y. And here x is equals to 2 n pi plus y, where n belongs to integers. Now to get this equation, to get this relation, let's compare the result of this x and this x. See here, the, all the terms here are same except minus and plus. So we can also write this as x is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus y. That's all. Very simple proof. Thank you so much.